Hey guys, it's Weep Union, and in this video there's a new report on the Siversk front. If you're enjoying, please subscribe. Uh, there are reports of fighting on every single one of these uh, villages ahead of the road, and there's also fighting reported in Siversk itself. So, these uh, areas of fighting remind me a lot of down beneath Bethmut where we saw a lot of fighting around these villages here and then suddenly all of them were taken in uh, one or two days. So what I think is happening is that Russia decided that they were going to advance which made the Ukrainians uh, show their positions then they fell back and then they are raining artillery down uh, where they know they're stationed and then they cooperate with the artillery to do ground assaults this way is similar to the other way uh, that they're finding where they just shoot artillery. The difference is this way they make the Ukrainians show their positions, uh, which makes it easier for the uh, Russian artillerymen to actually hit the targets, but it also increases the casualties. So they are speeding up the process in exchange for some lives. So uh, we have the fighting in Tuhorivka. Uh, which was for a time uh, discussed whether it was in Russian or Ukrainian hands, but it turns out it is still in Ukrainian hands. Uh, in Siversk, it's most likely from plateau to plateau uh, on either side of this. This is still the same fighting as we saw earlier, just intensified, where there's artillery duels. In Vrchnokamyansky, there are reports that they have entered the city, but and establish a foothold, but they haven't taken all of it, so it's a work in progress. In Ivanoterivka, there are conflicting reports. Some say it's been taken, while others say they're still fighting. Uh, in Spirna, uh, Ukraine claims they have it, and Russia claims they have it, so it's contested. But I'm assuming, based on reports of fighting in Vayemka and Vesele, uh, Spirna is most likely in Russian hands. Uh, at Vasily, it's only uh, reports of Rican. Uh, I haven't seen any reliable reports on actual fighting here. Uh, while in Vayemka, it's a reliable source, but there's only one source, so I'm putting it as a question mark, as there's been no corroborative reports. In Bilohorivka, uh, this fighting has been ongoing for a long time, same with Yakulivka, and uh, there are small advances being taken uh, every day or every other day, but it's a slow process as Ukraine keeps sending more and more reinforcements in. Uh, which is where we return to uh, Russian general strategy throughout this war uh, for the past four or five months, where they focus purely on destroying the Ukrainian defensive, uh, defenses and military capability rather than taking ground. And once they are ready to take ground is when the Ukrainians don't have that many soldiers or equipment left and they are able to just uh, surround them. So most likely they'll try to take Yakolivka first, uh, which is why they've been fighting it non-stop since the start of it. And then they'll go through a uh, attack on Vesel, which will force the Ukrainians to pull back from below Horivka and uh, support the defenses here so they don't get cut off, uh, which will allow the Russians to attack them as they are retreating. The same, I think the same uh, is here with uh, Vyanka. If they're attacking that, it's most likely because they want the defenses at Ivanoderivka uh, to fall back, uh, which will allow them to uh, push further into and taking Ivanoderivka and trying to connect their attack uh, on Siversk, which will fo also force the, the Ukrainian defenders at Vechnokamyansky to fall back to Siversk. And that will put, concentrate them all in one city. Uh, the issue with the Ukrainians' uh, defense line here for the Russian side is that they are too wide. They aren't focused anywhere. So they have to split their artillery as well. If all the Ukrainian soldiers are in one place, they can focus all the artillery in that one place. And it will take m a much less time than if they are split as they are now. So the Russians will try to push them towards Siversk, to the north, as that is the furthest away from uh, the next offensive line. So they will try to push them away from retreating. 
and to force them to into a surrender or a complete annihilation. And that's it for this update. Thanks for watching and have a great day.